Hello everyone. Today we are going to focus on questions related to process creation using the folk system call. So we are going to cover two questions on this. The first question is write a program using the folk system call to create two child of the same process. That is there is a process parent process P having two children P1 and P2. So first we need to have the parent process P. So this is nothing but the program that you are going to write. So once you run that, that will become the parent process. Now this parent should have two child process. So two siblings P1 and P2. So this is what we are going to achieve. So let's start with the header files. stdio.h unistd.h and we need sis slash types dot h hash include all right int main start the program main process so what we need we need pid underscore t two variables of this because we are going to create two child process so let's name the variables as p1 and p2 then create the first child p1 is equal to fork so this is the first fork which will create the first child process so what you are required to do if so whatever fork returns we need to check whether it is equal to 0 or greater than 0 so if it is if p1 if fork returns 0 this means it is the so this part will be done by the child process right after fork there will be two process so this code will run both in the parent and as well as in the child if p1 equal to equal to 0 this means it is the child process in child this statement will be true so what i'm going to do so the child will print its pid so let's say printf pid of child p1 so let's name the first child as p1 is percentage d get pid let's print the parent id also so that we are able to verify that both the child process are having the same parent so pid of the parent of p1 is percentage t get ppid okay so this task is done by the child else so else part is for the parent now i want the parent to have the second child also so this means the second fork should be written within the else part so because why because the else part will be executed by the parent so use the fork here second fork now again we need to check the value of p2 if it is equal to equal to zero this means this part will be run by the second child so what i want from the second child to print pid of second child p2 is percentage d so let's print the pid of the second child also get pid and similarly pid of the parent of p2 is percentage d why i am printing the parent id so that we are able to verify that the parent of both the child process is same done now this else is for the parent so let's print the parent id itself so that we are able to further verify that the parent is same so pid of the parent process is percentage t get pid both the l's are closed program is closed save it compile q3.c too many arguments okay let us check okay so what's wrong here is percentage t okay and similarly here also i think typing mistake 
press the wrong key so percentage d right just read the error and you will get to know what was the problem compile it again fine now run it so you can see here pid of child p1 is 42 pid of the parent of p1 is 41 so the let's do one more change here i'm not used new line here it's always better to use it so that the output is readable now let's compile and rerun right so pid of child p1 is 51 pid of the parent of p1 is 50 all right pid of the parent process is 50 we are able to verify this pid of second child p2 is 52 pid of the parent of p2 is 1 just compare this with the above one you can see here it was fine pid of the parent of p2 is 41 pid of parent process is 41 and pid of the parent of p1 is 41 okay so both the parent parent of p1 and parent of p2 the id is same 41 which is the id of the parent process itself here we were able to execute it properly and we were able to verify also but here something went wrong okay no need to worry the code is absolutely correct in the first case both the child process were able to run before the parent exit but in the second case when i run it again this time the parent executed and it finished before the second process could complete that's why here the parent id is not printed properly it's one because the parent is already out of the system it's already terminated okay but our code is correct so what you can do is if this happens with you also so this is an important point to note use the wait system call okay so that you ensure that the parent is not terminated before the child finishes so the wait will give the child process the chance to run before the parent so include this header file and in both the cases here also use wait so this is wait is for the parent to wait for p1 okay remember the first wait is for making the parent process wait for the first child here that we created with the first folk now the second child is created with the second folk so here in the else part you write the wait again to ensure that the parent process waits for the second process now if i compile the program and run it now you see that pid of child p1 is 61 pid of child p2 is 62 parent of p1 60 parent of p2 60 and the parent process itself also 60 so we are able to verify that the parent process 60 is having two child 61 and 62 now you run it as many times as you want the output will always be correct the child process will always finish first and then only the parent is going to terminate question number two is write a program using the folk system call to create hierarchy of three process p p1 and p2 such that p2 is the child of p1 and p1 is the child of p2 so this time what we are going to do is the parent process will have a child process then the child will have its own child process so this is what is called a hierarchy so i'm not going to write the entire program again so what i'm going to do is copy q3.c into q4.c now i'm going to add it so i'm going to save a lot of typing here now till the first child process everything is same so i'm not going to change anything so till this part everything is same we are going to create our first child okay now the second child so let's here write printf so here i'm going to print the parent id okay pid of the parent p is percentage t get pid don't get confused that i'm going to print the parent id so why i'm not using get ppid get ppid means the parent of the process every any process parent process okay 
but get PID is the PID of the process itself. I am calling the process as parent. Okay, so I am using it get PID. If I want to print the PPID of this particular process, the parent's parent, then I will use get PPID. All right. So what we have done so far is created one child process. The child has print its own PID and the PID of its parent and the parent has printed just its own PID. Since I want the second process P2 to be the child of P1, this means the second fork should be within P1. So what I am going to do here is now I am going to use fork here within the child, first child. So this will create a child of the child process. Now rest of the things will be same if P2 equal equal to 0. So here we can do what printf PID of P2 is percentage T get PID and PID of P2's parent, okay, P2's parent is percentage T get PPID of P2's parent. If it's closed, so PID of P2's parent should be same as the PID of child P1. So let's not write here child P1, PID of P1, okay. So PID of P2's parent should be same as PID of P1. Now here in the else part, I need not to write anything because that part I have already written here, okay, before calling the fork or else if you don't want to write these two statements here, you can put them in the else part also, okay. So in the else part, what I'm going to do is just let me use wait so that p2 gets a chance to run before p1 exits okay so i'm going to make p1 the parent of p2 wait for its child compile q4.c so expected else okay okay so the problem here is in if like this okay compile it run it and now you can see PID of P1 is 84, fine. PID of the parent of P1 is 83. Look at the last line, PID of the parent P is 80. So this relation is verified here that P is having the child P1. PID of P2 is 85. PID of P2's parent is 84. And what is 84? Whose PID is 84? P1. This means P1 is the parent of P2. So we are able to verify the relationship also. So I hope now you will be able to create all such combinations. In the next video, we will cover up few more questions based on the fork and weight system call.